tonight from First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jacoby Brissett and the Cleveland Browns taking on Mitchell Trubisky and the Pittsburgh Steelers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. to get it started now the kicker Chris Boswell and off we go from Cleveland taking it about the one and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 so here come the Browns for their first drive on offense bringing this crew out it's someone known for his big arm since he entered the league back in 2016 Jacoby Brissett Spent the early years of his career bouncing between starter and backup as needed and played well, but never had a team fully commit to him as their guy. He does retain the toolbox that made him projectable as a starter. Big, strong player with a powerful arm, deceptively mobile and tough to tackle. The best part about his game, leadership and being a great teammate. Play fake, Brissett. And this one is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Brissett sets to throw it. It's complete. Javon Wims, the open man. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First and ten, Brissett. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Looking to throw again on second down. Reset. That's caught by the tight end, Harrison Bryant. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They go play action with Brissett. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pickup there, 21 yards. 
And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Again, it's Brissett. Got an open man at Schwartz. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. To throw is Brissett. This is caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Chubb, and he takes this one in for a Brown score. Nick Chubb. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here come the Steelers for the first time in this game with their free agent signing at quarterback, the former number two overall pick, Mitchell Trubisky. Well, he certainly had his ups and downs since being the second overall selection back in 2017. But when he's on, Mitchell Trubisky shows all the attributes you're looking for in a quarterback. Big arm, excellent legs for mobility. His key, being consistent. First and 10 here for Trubisky and the Steelers. Just shy of the 30. They'll start on the ground with Harris. The tackle there by John Johnson. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. 
The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run again with Harris. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. There is simply no bringing Harris along slowly as a rookie for the Steelers. He was one of two NFL backs with over 300 carries and led all NFL running backs with 74 catches. Along the way, he set several Pittsburgh rookie records. First and 10, it's Trubisky. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He's going to look deep down the field, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. From the shotgun is Trubisky. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now it's Trubisky, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. First down, Trubisky. Over the middle, complete. That's Johnson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards down to the 13. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Play action. Now Trubisky. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Grant Delpit. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky, oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Two straight sacks have him backed up now for a third and goal. Throwing here, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. And for the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This taken in it at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. As that ball got away from him and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his <laughs> pain and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The Browns drive about to get started. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. 
But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Throwing on second down. Reset flush to his right. This is the tight end to Joku. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. In 2021, for the first time in his NFL career, Kareem Hunt missed significant time due to injury. He ended up suiting up for only eight games, putting up 560 total yards and five touchdowns. Getting back to full health, he can easily double both of those totals across a full season. down throw for Brissett. He's going to have the hook up the shorts. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From just shy of midfield. Reset, quick throw, and he's got Amari Cooper. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. set on first down and that nearly a turnover but it's incomplete oh fortunate to retain possession there and it's second down well they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down not have to gear up try and get two more stops and escape this drive on second and ten reset and he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To throw, Brissett. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to make it fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively. And they stop him well short. Cade York on now for the field goal. From the right hash, this from 53. York able to send this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, And you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way. Let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Six yards left on second down. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me a half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. They go play action. Trubisky. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky, and the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Now Trubisky to throw. Setting up the screen, Harris. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. The Steelers send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. 
And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Brissett going out wide finds Chubb and they'll get him down up past the 15 the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup that's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield but as that back you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football when you get out in open field sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free he does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Brissett to throw on first. And his throw here is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Brissett now. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Brissett. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Olszewski now to return. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a 7-yard return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Trubisky will throw. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Jordan Elliott able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. On third down, Trubisky. Open man, that's the tight end, Fryermuth. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Play action. It's Trubisky. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, this is Harris. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. This is Harris on the draw. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Here's Johnson with a reception. Touchdown! Deontay Johnson on the pass from Mitchell Trubisky. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. Level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Taking it at about the one. And he'll be stocked up at the 25. And now the Browns coming out on the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Start with Hunt on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They run again with Hunt. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Right 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Rasan. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's Brissett. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he is going to lose yardage here. They call it a loss of a yard there. And third and one now. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes the catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Brissett. Flushed out right. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down, they'll run with Chubb. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. The last run got six, now second and four. They run it again with Chubb. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. the middle it's Chubb and he'll go down here right around the 23 yard line now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game Chubb on second down. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. And that's on the guard, Wyatt Teller. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Following the penalty, Chubb. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Oh, 
So third down and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. And Chubble try the middle here. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. That'll back them up two yards and also bring up fourth. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This from 52, and this for the win. And his kick is good! From 52 yards away, he gets it to go! And the Browns are going to win the football game! Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound, as we say so.